than the amended fiscal year 21 budget. So we're looking at 14, almost $15 million budget for fiscal year 22 versus uh, $18.6 million budget for fiscal year 21 amended. So as always, the preparation of the budget uh, documents guided by three primary financial goals. The first is that uh, we continue to respond to state imposed property tax reform. So everyone obviously very familiar with the rollback on properties. So in the case of commercial and industrial, we deal with a 90% rollback. Now we're dealing with a rollback on multifamily projects and of course the forever present rollback on <coughs> single family uh, residential properties. So, so that is first and foremost uh, being responsive to the property tax reforms imposed at the state level uh, so that we can ensure that we're preparing a budget that responds as best as possible to, to those um, issues from the state. Second, the budget establishes of course financial conditions that enhance the community's financial position in terms of fund balances, debt issuance practices. These things have a real impact for us uh, in the community and here for our organization. And you've seen these things in recent times here with our debt placements here locally for three long-term debt placements that we had uh, that were three issues purchased here by locally operated banks that uh, you can see. Really, I think, again, we have a very strong relationship with our local banks, uh, but that's part of the equation, but also the fact that Clear Lake is in such a strong position financially. Those things are tangible and they're real. They translate to significant ability to borrow money uh, at the rates that we were able to borrow them for. So we have, as you know, very, very little debt. I would submit one of the lowest levels of debt in not only the state, Midwest, but in the country. Uh, and when you see issuances coming back for taxable issues at a half a percent, on over a million dollars in uh, debt. That's, as I told you before, uh, our bond council at Des Moines has been, he's 80, and he's been doing this his entire life, uh, and he said in 60 years of this kind of work, uh, he has not seen rates that we were able to obtain. And so, at some point, that's more than just luck. Uh, also, we try to maintain uh, affordable fee structures, affordable tax structures for our residents and businesses, and we'll talk about that here in a little bit, in particular with the property tax rate, uh, once again, keeping the tax rate uh, as it is for fiscal year 21, keeping that the uh, same for fiscal year 22 at $9.70 per thousand of tax rate valuation. So again, those are kind of the three overarching themes uh, and strategies that we uh, use to guide the budgeting mm -hmm. process here. So. Uh, again, the proposed tax rate for Clear Lake for fiscal year 22. Of course, we're talking about the budget year that starts July 1st of this year and would end on June 30th of 2022. Is proposed to remain the same as it is for current fiscal year budget, so 21. So that's again $9.70 per thousand taxable valuation. So this is the sixth consecutive fiscal year that uh, the share, the city share of the consolidated tax rate is either remain the same or constant without an increase. And if we go back to fiscal year 17, the city tax rate had decreased from $10.54 to $10.04. Then we decreased that again in fiscal year 18. We lowered the rate from 10.04 to 9.80. For fiscal year 19, we then lowered the rate from 9.80 to 9.70. And that's where we have remained for the last uh, four fiscal years. So, uh, in terms of the taxable valuations for fiscal year 22, 